Okay, I'm going to show you how to make a little snowman to for whatever you'd like. Mine's going to be going on a wreath, um, but I'm going to show you how to make this little amigurumi snowman, and it's actually really easy, and the body and the legs are all in one piece and the head is a separate piece but this actually is a pretty simple pattern so I'm going to kind of show you how to do that I'm going to be using the 30 peg half gauge loom Cindy Wood loom you can use any 30 peg loom the only thing is the size will vary um, basically this little guy sits about five inches and so if you do this on uh, loom with a wider gauge it, it'll probably sit a little taller be a little bigger I'm only going to use one strand of worsted because I'm going to be knitting uh, doing a flat knit with this so um, what I'm going to start off with is the body and I'm going to do a drawstring cast on circularly Okay, now that I've got that set up, what I'm going to go in and do is knit circularly, a flat knit, for a total of six rows. Let's go ahead and pause the video and complete those six rows, and then we will go from there and I'll show you how to do the leg row and the great thing about the leg row is once you've done this it's exactly the same up top so um, go ahead and do your six and then I'll show you how to do the arms and leg row how to do that and then give you the general synapse of how to finish up the um, body let's go ahead and pause the video and complete your six rows and then we'll go from there okay I've done my six rows. It doesn't look like much. What we're going to do is we're going to do the leg row. Now keep in mind this leg row is the same at the bottom as it is at the top. So go ahead and knit three. Then you're going to do short rows on the next five pegs for 21 rows. So here's row one, one, two, three, four, five. Here's row two. And three. And keep going until you have twenty one rows. Okay, I have done my 21 rows, and as you can see, this is what it should look like. You're going to have to sew up the legs. What's going to make it easier to sew up the legs is if you bring your outer original loops back. And the best way to find that is to go to your next stitch, find the bridge back, which is here, and then go down, and there is your original stitch put it back up there do the same thing with the other side you don't have to do this this is optional I just find it makes it a little easier okay and then you're going to knit around 14 so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, and now you're going to do your other leg just like you did this one. You're going to work the next five for 21 rows. So there's one, two, three, four, five, and that's row one. 
And here's row two. And row three. All the way up until you have 21 rows, just like you did with the first leg. So you're going to continue this just like you did with this leg and bring the original loops back on. Then you're going to knit those three pegs back to your starting point. At this point, then you're just going to go and knit circularly for a total of 15 rows. Then you're going to repeat your leg row that we just did and then you're going to knit four more rows. So go ahead and pause the video and finish up your leg row. Do 15 rows of knit, then do another leg row, and then do four rows of knit. And then we will go from there. Now keep in mind that your head is really simple. The head of your snowman is going to be basically the drawstring cast on, like we did. Instead of doing the legs, you're going to do the 15 rows for the head. And then you're going to do the same cast off that I do on the body with the head. So the head is basically the body right here without the beginning and the legs it's just 15 rows so you do the drawstring cast on 15 rows just like um, we did at the beginning it been instead of it being six rows before we're going to do 15 rows so the, the the head is just a drawstring cast on circularly 15 rows and then I'm going to show you how I'm casting off for both and then I'll show you how to sew on and then add like a little scarf and a hat to it. Let's go ahead and pause the video and complete your body and then I'll show you how I'm casting off. Okay, we are to the cast off technique for the head and the body and you'll see that I've already done it here and I will show you how it's done. So with the head you just cast on with a drawstring cast on circularly and you do 15 rows and then here's what you're going to do. You're going to decrease by every other peg. What you're going to do is you're going to knit the first one, move it over to the second one, toss the bottom loop over, knit the next one, move it over, toss the bottom loop over, knit the next one, move it over, toss the bottom loop over, knit the next one, move it over, toss the bottom loop over. So you're decreasing by every other peg. Okay, now that I've done that, I've decreased by every other peg. I'm going to snip me a fairly long tail. And then I'm just going to send the yarn through each loop. on the loom that is left. Now you're going to take all your loops off. This is our head. So I'm just going to go in and pull that. 
the beginning and then I'm going to stretch that out full size now I'm not going to close that cast on off but I am going to close the other end off and the other end is here, right here, and you see how nice and smooth and flat that is. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that and we're just going to tighten it up. And then you're going to tie that off with the head. And then you'll stuff it and then you'll tighten it up to create a ball. Now with the body you'll want to close that up and tie it off and I find it's a little easier to turn it inside out to close everything off and do that on both the head and the body. And pull your ends through. So you'll tie that off down here. And then what you'll do is you'll go in and you'll flatten out the legs sew them on the ends where you see the notches in between your spaces and you're going to sew in these gaps on each limb on the top and the bottom Then you are going to turn it right side out and then you're going to go about stuffing and then you will drawstring it together like you do the head, tie off and then you'll see that I've done a weaving through the body and through the head all the way around and you don't have to be specific when you go in and tighten down the head um, because you don't have any nose or anything else you need to align up so you just sew the head on and um, that's after you get done sewing up the limbs and everything you turn it right side out stuff it and you want to stuff your limbs first and with real light stuffing and then you stuff your body and you're going for a real round effect with the body so as you can see there's my seams closing up those holes there's my bottom closing and there's my top closing and then I've stuffed and I've sewn the head on now for our hat and our scarf the hat is actually really pretty easy. Instead of a flat knit, you're going to go in and you're going to e-wrap for 19 rows. So you're going to do an e-wrap cast on and then you're going to e-wrap for 19 rows to create a tube with your 30 peg loom. Then you're going to bring your original loops back. And the way I find it best to do this, bring your original cast on back, there's our tail, and then I follow my starting point and I follow that line all the way back up to here and I consider this one the first one. So I'm just going to start putting all these back on. 
so if you've made a basic brimmed hat you're doing the same technique except this is the entire hat and I've done a single strand of yarn so it's not real thick and when you fold it on top of it um, it, it you can't see through it so you'll go in and you'll put your original cast on loops onto and you'll see them pretty easy back onto the loom and pull that down and then you're going to e-wrap a row where you e-wrap the two loops together so go ahead and e-wrap those two loops together And then you'll do the same cast off as you did on your body and your head where you decrease by every other peg and then draw string cast off and that'll give you a really smooth flat top of the hat. Okay, now I'm going to knit the first one, move it over to the second peg, toss the bottom loop over, knit the second peg, move that loop over to the next peg. So you're going to do the same decrease by every other peg as you did on the head and the body. And then you're going to cut you a strand and pull the strand through each loop. And then you're going to draw a string together and tie the end off. And there is going to be a right and wrong side to the hat. your tail and then go in and send the yarn through every loop just like you did your head and body and then when you draw a string it off you're going to flip it and this is going to be the wrong side and you're going to know it because you're going to have this little extra ridge that's where you've done the e-wrap over together and you're going to tie it off and there you can see it's really smooth at the top and the reason why we e-wrapped is so that it actually fits on there nice and easily where if you wanted to sew or glue it on you could and the scarf is really easy you um, cast on and then you do you knit 50 rows and then you cast off and you've basically created an I-cord and I'm using a single strand which is worsted yarn and the red and then you can just go in and tie it around the neck and then you add the hat on and then you can take rhinestones or you can embroider the face on it's up to you what you want to do I'm probably going to go in and add little black rhinestones to add the face in and do buttons around the chest and then you'll want to make however many I'm adding these to a wreath so I'm making two but um, that's basically how you make a snowman an amigurumi snowman with a hat and the scarf and that's pretty much how it's done